Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. In today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at how to make a basic cabinet. You'll find that this is a very practical build and it's quite useful. I have made a couple of cabinets uh, that I've actually built and I found Fusion is a wonderful tool to help me visualize what I'm going to make. So let's dive in. I'm going to start off by creating a sketch on the front plane. I'm just going to push R for rectangle and this is going to be 2000 millimeters by 800. So that's 2 meters by 800 millimeters wide. This is going to form the base of or the basis of what we're working off of. So I'm going to finish that sketch and then create a new one. You'll see why just now. Um, I'm wanting to have two separate sketches for when I'm doing the extrudes. So I'm going to P for project. I'm going to project that so that I've got these lines to work with. And then we're going to go R. So the boards that I normally work with are 16 millimeters. So I'm going to make this 16 millimeters wide. I'm going to repeat this step on the other side. You can see how it snaps to the edge there. But I'm still typing in the 2000 so that it is uh, fully constrained. So there we've got the sides and then the top will be in between these pieces over there. So that is 16. And we can see that this length over here, if I press D, is 768. So it'll actually be able to tell you exactly where to cut your boards. And then I want to have another one over here. So it's going to be off the ground. So let's get that one right. And D for dimension. Dimension it against there, and I'm going to make that 80 millimeters. So now you can see that's going to be uh, our gap off the ground. And now we're going to put in some shells. Uh, you can do this one of two ways. You can press R and just draw in a couple of shells, however you want. Or we can take one of these, either the top or the bottom, and do a pattern. So I'm going to create rectangular pattern and I'm going to select these two lines and just drag them up. So I think I want four shells in this. So we'll just add that to four there and we can space it out however we want. Um, we can we can decide if we're doing extent or spacing. So if I'm saying spacing that would be sort of the spacing between the shells. So either way it's up to you. But I'm going to just make it spacing, four shells, and 500 millimeters. And finish sketch. So that's what we've got so far. we just got a couple of lines. But now is where it really comes to life. First, I want to turn off this first sketch, because that's going to get in the way a little bit. And then we're going to extrude our shelves. So I'll grab all these pieces. And I'm going to make that 450 millimeters. That's the depth of our cabinet. You can see there we've got our shelves. It's all new body. Okay. I'm going to turn that sketch back on. And we're going to extrude now our side pieces. Also 450 millimeters. But remember to change the operation to new body. If I change it to join, I'm going to have all these individual pieces as one piece. And the idea here is that we can kind of get an idea of how many pieces, what size we need, and we can draw up a cutting list. So there's the frame of our cabinet. I'm going to toggle these, turn that first one off, or the first one on. And there we've got minus 16, again, new body. So there we've got the back of the cabinet. If you want, you could go in here into your bodies and say maybe shelf two or that would be shelf three i don't know um shelf one and then you'll just be able to see what's going on so sometimes it's a good idea to name things but we're going to be in and out here real quick so i'm not going to worry about that now we're going to do another sketch i'm going to select the front profile of our extrude over there and we're going to project, so P, I'm projecting these lines. I really just need those points and this line. 
So what I'm going to do is L and then press X for construction. You can see that it's activated our construction line. And then move this along until we get our little triangle. There, that's our center line. Make sure we pull this down and it's 90. So now that's going to be the line that we snap to. I'm going to two point rectangle. Go up to our top corner there. Let's just turn off construction. And go down to here. I'm going to go past, I want it to end on this shelf, but I'm going to go past it. And I'll show you why. So I can take this point over there and make a coincident with that line. Now you can see it's fully constrained. We could mirror that or we could just repeat that step. So I've just pushed R for a rectangle. And we're going to go to that point again. So there we have our cupboard uh, sketches. I'm going to extrude. And these are both going to be new body. I don't know if we can do them both at the same time, but let's give it a go. I think we're going to end up with one body here. We've actually tried this. So there we go. Let's just undo that. And 16 millimeters. New body. And then again, we'll turn that sketch back on. Grab this door, 16 millimeters and new body again. Now if you want to be fancy, we could always go put on some handles, some super fancy handles that'll be just little round circles. So obviously I'm being facetious, so those aren't really very fancy at all. But there we've got our two, I'll make them horizontally aligned. So now they line up with one another, D for dimension, I'll dimension that at 70. And then the other one I will dimension there equal to that. So now if I had to change this one to say 80, they'll both move. And then the vertical height I'm not really worried about. Finish sketch. And we can extrude these two little things out. Don't know how far a handle goes out, maybe 50 mils. That's probably a bit far. Let's just do it 40. And again, we're going to have a new body. Okay. Now that's starting to look a bit like a cabinet. Let's turn off our sketches and add some color to it. So, ah, you see this line over here? I need to go in and change that sketch. Oh, it's probably in the extrude. Because I did the sketch right. There we go, we've added it in. Now it's fixed. So, I, don't, I haven't bought too many cabinets and I'm not a carpenter, but this is kind of what I would do to build it. Let's turn off a door and then we can have a look at what the shelves would look like. I mean, that looks good to me. Let's apply a bit of a finish to it. So I'm going to push A for appearance menu and we're going to go down and select our woods. Got a couple of options here. I think I'm going to go with a cherry. See, as we drop it on, we kind of see the grain of the wood as well so it gives you quite a nice effect of what you're looking for and if you're maybe you're looking for something I don't know a bit plainer we could do something like this so we've got that lighter color there and we can just add a one of these painted ones so then we'll still get the sort of the wood grain um, so I'll just drag that one up there and I'm going to right click on it and edit. I'm going to make this white. So now when I drop this on, it's still a wood finish, but we've got a white just to contrast the mahogany or the cherry or whatever I chose there. I think it's cherry. Yeah. So that's just a bit of contrast there. I don't really like this color of the back, so I'm just going to drop that on there as well. I think that looks a lot better. And then let's get some chrome for the handles. Let's drop it on. Hasn't made much of a difference. Close. And there we've got a cabinet. Let's close it up. And that's our cabinet. And now if we want to see what our dimensions are, 
we can just go into the inspect menu we'll say measure and then you can just measure your your sides so we can see there that is 1.9 meters by 400 and we know they're 16 mils deep so you can just do that for each piece and then you can write up a cutting list and if you go into your local hardware store or somewhere they can cut an edge and you can have a DIY cabinet at home that's it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a comment maybe like and subscribe and have a look at some of our other videos till next time bye